Hickok 45 here. Look what I've got. A set of pythons. They're called the snake eyes. Are they beautiful or what? <laughs> yeah, you might have seen the picture I posted on Instagram just briefly of these fine revolvers. It's a set. There are only 500 sets made in 1989. This is set number 195. 195 eyes is the serial number on that one. On this one, the serial number is drastically different. It's eyes 195. How's that for interesting? So it is a set of two and a half inch Colt Pythons from 1989, two and a half inch barrel, stainless and blue. So we are so lucky. You know, we're gonna fire these things. I can't believe I'm gonna fire them. They've got a, a kind of a fake ivory grip. Uh, excuse me, fake, that's so gauche. Faux ivory grip, look at that. Snake eyes on there on one side. And then you got a uh, royal, what, straight flush? I'm not a poker player, but that's a pretty good hand. If you play poker, you know, not much beats that hand. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just cool. And on the barrel, if you saw that, you know, you've got uh, on this side, you've got snake eyes, snake eyes. Uh, so, so, so cool. Yeah. Now on this side, you've got 357 Magnum cartridge. You don't have to read the instruction manual as some firearms have, right? And ruin it. So pretty nice uh these come with a set uh just so you know before i shoot them they uh they, they came in those two boxes there but they uh, a display case comes with them generally when that was shipped to buds is these are these were run by a private individual donating them to the uh, firearms for freedom foundation for auction good you know you uh it's just uh, goes for a good cause you can uh you know, tax right off you donate firearms to that that foundation you can designate where you want the money to go uh, to um, like the Civil Defense Fund at the NRA, the ILA, Institute for Legislative Action, the Training and Education Fund, you, you designate where that money goes. And so uh, they get a lot of firearms, you know, donated. Uh, to some people, maybe the, someone in the family has passed away or maybe not. They just, just make the donation. So that's where that goes. And that, that, that thing is kind of ongoing. You can go to, to Bud's uh, website or to the NRA Freedom, or Fires for Freedom Foundation site and, and see pictures of these and, and other firearms. It's, uh, uh, I think it's ongoing kind of throughout the year, but it, it, it revs up right about now in, in uh, August, like the end of August through September 13th, I think these will be on there and it coincides with the uh, NRA meeting in Houston, that kind of thing, every year it's a bigger, so just to make you aware of that, all right? I don't know if I'll bid on them or not. I'm probably not allowed to, I don't know, but no, I, I tell you, I like them, I, they're beautiful. They're, they're really neat. Uh, I prefer a longer barrel. Two and a half is a little shorter than I like. If they were three or three and a half, uh, I'm glad they're not, so I won't be tempted, but, uh, I prefer a little bit longer barrel. But other than that, they're, they are snazzy. They are pretty cool. I like the grips. I think the uh, the ivory colored grips look good on both of them, stainless or blue, don't you? Okay, I'm gonna load it up. Yeah, man, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be nice to them. I'm not gonna shoot some hot Magnum stuff. <laughs> Get some 38 plus P, jacketed ammo from Federal. They also come in that set that, like I said, there's a case it got damaged on shipment to, to buds and they're in the process of getting it repaired i don't know if it'll be perfect but you'll see pictures of it i think they're going to have these in houston and show you that in the case and everything maybe and uh it came with six poker chips as i understand and uh two red ones two white ones and two blue ones how's that for patriotic okay and what else they come with uh oh a couple of decks of cards yeah snake eyes so some of you are familiar with these, some of you are not. Uh, I really don't deserve to be able to do this, but I'm gonna do it. And I went ahead and loaded both of them. And uh, I'll just take a few shots one at a time here. Before I do that, I wanna think. All right, here we go. Which one should I shoot first? I'll let you all decide. Okay, I heard more votes for the stainless. All right, let's just take a couple shots with it. You know what we ought to do? We ought to smoke a little pot with each one of them, don't you think? And I have no idea where to hold. And I'm not going to adjust the sights on them. Whoever buys them can do that. All right. 
Let's shoot that stop sign. I'll get an idea where it shoots. All right. You know what that makes me want to do? I think I, let me shoot the stop sign again. I'm going to hold right on that hit. Okay. Seems to go a little high. Yeah, the sights are raised a little bit. So for my purposes, I would probably lower that sight. But I'm going to throw one at the gong and I'm going to hold low. That told me. I might still miss it, but. <laughs> I'm such a genius. I really am. I think I have one more. Need to take out a two liter with each one of them, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I miscounted. <laughs> All right, so we got a, uh, yeah, we got, we smoked a little pot with that one. We hit the gong and got a two liter. So, all right, so it's been christened pretty well. We'll be careful. We don't want to scratch it. All right, beautiful gun. Yeah, see, so since it, it goes a little high for me, so if I lower the sights, that would take care of that. That'd be good. I'm not going to mess with them. Whoever buys them might like them like that. And this one looks like the sight's up just a little bit too, so we might discover the same thing. All right. I'll hold it right on. No, let's smoke the pot first. We don't have to be that precise for smoking a pot this close. <laughs> now I'll try that stop sign. I'll, I'll try to put one on that same lower hit. All right. I think it hit about the same place, didn't it? Let me try that again. <laughs> yeah, okay, a little high. So I would lower that sight. And thankfully, it's not all the way down, you know? That, you know, you can see the gap there. So I, my guess is if I put that all the way down, it'd be right on. But again, I'll let somebody else do that. So let's try the gong, see if I can be lucky again. Oh man, I'm such a genius. I just know where to hold. I'm gonna hit this two liter right here. <laughs> and let's put one on the cowboy. Now yeah, let's put another one on him, double action. Let's go. <laughs> Since we're empty, right? All right. So pretty neat, pretty neat. A couple of beautiful firearms, I tell you. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I think a lot of us have a love-hate relationship with the Colt Python. It's a really nice, 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 high-quality firearm. And, you know, when you get a, a match set, limited editions and all that, and these cool scrimshawled uh, grips, you know, you do have a, a pretty nice uh, set here. Again, there were 500 sets, and these were numbers. You saw 195 made in 1989 get all my numbers correct here okay two and a half inch barrel what are the numbers <laughs> they hold six rounds a piece okay so uh yeah pretty cool we normally would not uh you know i probably wouldn't be interested in i guess in buying a set like this because of the shorter barrels if nothing else uh not to mention the, the money uh but uh, so it's really nice to have support like we have and to be able to, to bring you things like this occasionally. Okay? Because even though some people claim not to like a Colt Python and I have a love-hate relationship with them as you know, they are just gorgeous firearms. Okay, I tend to shoot a Smith & Wesson better, but that's really nice. Another reason I brought this one out was uh, just to, again, it's always interesting, isn't it, to, to see the difference that a, now the grips are different, but that's all. It's uh, it's just interesting to see what a longer barrel versus short barrel, what it does for a firearm, uh, especially new shooters. You haven't had a lot of experience with that, maybe. Uh, they're both clear, of course. But, uh, you know, you've got uh, the same frame. I mean, exactly. Exactly. You know, the same frame and uh, just a longer barrel. Let me get them. Maybe I can get the barrels a, a little bit closer line. But just makes a totally different looking uh, piece of hardware, doesn't it? It's just... Uh, interesting how much difference that makes it really is so uh you know i thought that might be halfway interesting to you uh, some people would have no interest in a little barrel like that and some would have no interest in a six inch barrel that's quite a bit of difference there myself uh 
I, I like the long barrel in a python because it's such a cool vent rib barrel. I mean, it's not really vented, I guess, but it's a, that, that's just one of the coolest looking firearms. I bought one early in the 70s, and I just recently, as you know, a couple of years ago, replaced it with this. So don't shoot it much, but you know, they're just, they're just cool. So even in the short barrels, you know, there's a cool factor. And with this uh, pair, it's kind of off the scale. Well, they're stiff. They're, they're like new, aren't they? They are new, essentially. Okay, 89, though, they're made. So I'm going to load them up, and I'm going to shoot them one more time here. And you know what I've got to do, right? You know what I absolutely have to do? Because they're, I don't, I'm shooting just nothing but jacketed ammo. Let's shoot some of this. This is, uh, yeah. These are, how's that for a hollow point? But it's all jacketed. Let's shoot these it's for kicks. I forget to get these out. We'll load these up. Yeah, uh, some of you would be really mad at me if I did not try a little dual wielding, right? Okay, it's, it's tricky with handguns. Okay, I don't, don't try this at home. I'm a professional. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it really is tricky uh, with handguns because, and of course, that's what well, you could do it with a shotgun. <laughs> but it is because uh, you need to keep those things parallel. And, and with a revolver, you've got the cylinder gap to deal with. If you've seen our video, How Not to Shoot a Revolver, you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, so excuse me if it's not like rapid, rapid, rapid fire. Okay, I would rather be safe and sorry it's a it's a really hot humid day and i just don't want to get hurt on a hot humid day if it's a little cooler it might be okay all right so if you're brand new to firearms by the way this is the cold python <laughs> and it's chambered in 357 magnum it will also fire 38 special and it comes in various barrel lengths it came in various barrel lengths and it was discontinued and just recently, Colt has come back out with the uh, 2020 Python, okay? And it's just in stainless, okay? So the new Python, the 2020 Python, is a little bit of a different animal. Very, it's similar, but it's a little bit of a different animal, different action. Still a nice firearm. And these are the old ones, okay? The old school, 89. Okay, let's close them up. Get them ready. They're tight. They're new. New condition. All right. Now I'm going to do a wheel in slow motion. I'm going to do it on the uh, uh, big tombstone down here instead of paper, I think. I should shoot the paper, shouldn't I? Let's go down here and do a wheel a little bit. I don't want to get too close. All right. Forgive me if I miss now. I'm just, I'm just going to shoot. I'm just shoot, shooting from the hip. All right, so I'm going to try to coordinate it, boom, boom, like that. I don't want to get muzzle blast or cylinder gap blast or anything like that. So, let's take some shots. <laughs> uh, I did better with my right hand. But you do notice I hit that small plate with my left hand. <laughs> All right. A uh, little bit of uh, dispelling a myth, I guess, if, if that is a myth. Dual wielding is not necessarily that effective. Uh, not nearly as effective as just taking aim and boom, 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 and actually hitting what you want to hit, right? <laughs> so that's cool. So we've got... Empty cases, be careful getting those out so we're not scratching the, the frame. And, and I lied to you, as always, make up all sorts of stories, tell you lies, can't believe anything I say, because I am going to shoot one of them just a couple times, because we didn't shoot the paper. I'll shoot the stainless one maybe, okay? We'll put six more in it, we'll wrap up with this one. I'm gonna, I'll stick that, I don't know if anybody wants it that buys it. Whoever buys it may not even know us, you know, so it may not matter to them, but I'll include that target in the box, okay? So, uh, anyway, and anything else they want, you know, if they do know us. All right, let's shoot the stainless one again. Oh, 
I'll hold right on that red and it, it should print a little high, right? Not bad for a little two inch, two and a half inch barrel. So uh, yeah, we'll throw that target in when we send it back to, to buds like we do for the other firearms. But, uh, okay, so that's it. The snake eyes set and uh, you know, it's new, tight, and uh, that's what you'd expect, right? So beautiful guns. And like I say, they'll be, uh, I think they're gonna feature these at the NRA uh, meeting in, in Houston, which I may or may not be at, depending on the rulings down there, and the restrictions, but uh, I think it will be there. These will be there, so you can take a look at them if you're, if you're there. And uh, and again, you know, what Budge does is they contribute their time, because they're set up to help out and do this. They have auctions and all that, so they, they do this free of charge for the NRA Firearms for Freedom Foundation. And uh, just, just handle all that for them. And they've been doing that for four or five, years I guess at least uh, so so that's pretty I know every time we're at the NRA meeting and and uh, we buy that booth uh, there's there's always some highly desirable firearms I think oh, I didn't really plan on bidding on a firearm but I'm tempted to bid on that one or that one <laughs> or this I might bid on these I might bid you know 20 bucks just in case nobody else wants them think I'd get them don't think so so I, I really appreciate y'all coming out and uh, witnessing uh the fun you know being able to shoot you know farms like this uh even though it's a hot humid day wow it, it's never too uncomfortable to enjoy a couple of nice revolvers right beautiful revolvers you may prefer a smith you may prefer a taurus revolver who else makes <laughs> but ria revolver but uh, you got to admit the, uh, the cold python is a beautiful uh, piece of iron and uh, it's smooth and really you know, good shooters they really are so anyway the snake eyes set made in 1989 this is 195 out of 500 and i got to shoot it okay like i tried to say in that post on instagram don't hate me for being beautiful hate me for being able to shoot beautiful guns like this though right Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastol.com, talongungrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.